For JCPS Superintendent Dr. Donna Hargens, the driver here is improvement for students. Ensuring that every student graduates prepared is a top priority. That's the vision of the district. We want all of our students to be able to do that. That's why, as part of that vision, the district is implementing an innovative plan that will benefit students at Stewart Middle School as well as Frost Sixth Grade and Valley Prep Academies. This is about making the learning conditions and the structures that are in place for students better. The plan, which was developed with input from teachers, staff, and the community, creates two standalone schools on the Stewart campus. Frost and Stewart sixth graders will attend a small sixth grade academy. So you can really build a community of learners and really get to know the learners in the school. While seventh and eighth graders from Valley Prep and Stewart will attend a separate school developed just for them. In order to make a middle school smaller, we've used the concept of a 7th and 8th grade center. So let's then focus on the 7th and 8th graders and their step on the journey to being ready for high school. The move, Dr. Hargan says, is designed to strengthen educational outcomes and boost achievement in priority areas. The 6th grade academy will prepare more students for the critical transition to middle school, allowing the 7th and 8th grade center to prepare more of the older students for high school in the future. We want to provide personalized learning environments that wrap around what students need so that they can be on the journey. So when they cross the finish line as 12th graders, they will be prepared and ready for yet the next step on, on their journey. The changes will take effect for students at the start of the 2016-2017 school year with the exception of rising 8th graders at Valley Prep who will finish that school year at Valley. Dr. Hargan says by phasing out Valley Prep and moving Frost to Stewart, savings can also be invested in the new schools, allowing more resources to go towards students. When you save money, you can reinvest in the students that are at the school on the things that really matter. After school time, experiences, um, more additional support staff. That's where we want to be spending our money on what will impact students directly.